but the technology itself basically we're at a point now where for a lot of users it is indistinguishable they're not going to get any different an answer or a very similar answer to what they would get from gpt5 but this model is tiny and it runs on your phone and never leaves never the data never leaves no internet connection but we'll show it off we'll show it off and this is already this, these models are getting smaller and better anyway for example we also developed nanocoder which we've which we have talked about before and we should show that off as well at some point but we're now getting to a point where we're getting really good coding abilities and long horizon task following from you know models that are 20b in size so that is good enough for consumer hardware yes you need a very good laptop for it but you can run it completely locally and do coding to it to a, a fair decent degree and we're making leaps and bounds of progress in that field as well there's going to be there's going to be this point where a hundred percent that we're not going to need frontier models more models are going to cut it absolutely fine for 99 percent of our tasks that you and i would ever need to do personally and then yes there's going to be frontier technology for all sorts of things that is far too intelligent for us to ever need to know